All right, in this module, we're going to look at the deformation and strengthening uh, chapter, and we're gonna boil it down to a demo for you. So this is gonna be a, demo, a demonstration involving a paper clip. So here's the setup for this. Uh, and again, this is gonna be on the quiz. So what I want you to do for this demo is uh, find yourself a paper clip just any any paper clip you have around, but find something. Um, if you don't have a paper clip, then see if you have any kind of metal wire or something similar. Uh, but you're going to need something like a, a paper clip. So get that. And then what I want you to answer um, is uh, what what you're going to do is you're going to take the paper clip and you're going to deform it. So we've been talking about deformation. So I want you to deform it. So you can. You know, take it apart. Um, and the questions I want you to ask, uh, what I want to ask is, we talked about 95% of the energy going somewhere. So see if you can answer with this demo where that energy goes and where does the rest of the energy go. And then the other question I want you to do and, and uh, uh, try to answer is, what do you think would happen if we deformed the paperclip and then after that deformation, we put it in a furnace and we did the experiment again. So see if you can kind of tackle those questions. And again, deform your paperclip and you can do it over and over again if you want. Uh, if you can, if you want to try to break it, you can do that as well. But see if you can deform the paperclip, answer the question of where 95% of the energy that you're putting into the deformation goes, and then see if you can um, think of what would happen if you put it in a furnace at a high temperature and then tried the experiment again. So take those, uh, take those questions, um, have Clippy help you here, but, uh, see if you can answer those questions, do this demo, and then we'll come back and, and I'll help, uh, and I'll do the demo with you and, and we'll take a look and see what you get. All right. We've got our paper clip here. And again, keep in mind the, the things that we're trying to answer, um, we talked about this in a previous module, but we want to know where 95% of the energy from deformation goes. And we also want to know what happens after deformation, if we put it in a high temperature furnace, and then after letting it cool down, if we try the experiment again, what will happen? Okay, so for to deform this paperclip, uh, I'm going to start by just taking it and kind of um, un <laughs> paper clip bending it, right? So just kind of try to make it into a uh, straight wire. So in pro in the do in the process of doing that, right, I'm deforming it, right, because it was a certain shape and now it's a different shape. So I'm plastically deforming it by nature. So anything that does that is going to do plastic deformation. So I'm just going to bend it into a roughly uh, straight shape. Okay, so that was deformation, but I want to do a little bit more of it just to exaggerate it. So the easiest way for me to do this, I can't really hold on to this and try to do a tensile test, and and I'm not strong enough to 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 make this uh, break in tension. So the way I'm going to do deformation here is I'm going to bend it back and forth. So I'm going to basically take it and kind of bend it back and forth like that, right? So I'm just kind of repeating it, and I do it in the same spot. So just try to do it in the same spot. So I'm going to do it a few times. And when I do that, what I want you to do is kind of feel it with your, your fingers. See if you notice anything. Or you can actually use your wrist a little bit too. Um, and if you want to get really uh, creative, um, I've heard this before. So it, bend it a few times. And then actually if you put it right underneath your upper lip uh, and see what you experience. So what I notice when I hold this and when I touch it or put it on my upper lip or kind of put it on my wrist here, is that the paper clip gets hot. So after I re repeatedly bend it, it gets hotter and hotter. And so I can feel that heat. And so that's the 95%. The 95% of the energy that you put into deforming this um, paper clip goes into heat. So a majority of it doesn't go into forming those dislocations and stuff. A majority goes into heat. And so that's, it's dissipated as that. And so you can do that. You might also notice that it's kind of changed colors on me a little bit from the deformation. And if I do this enough in the same spot, I can break it, right? And so this is 
this is kind of summing up what we've just talked about with cold work. So if I deform it, um, I'm strain hardening it so that you might not be able to feel it, but it actually does get harder to, to form the more you do it. So we're cold working the material. And if we keep doing that, if we keep deforming it uh, over and over again, we're continually strengthening it. But remember the flip side of that is that the ductility decreased. And so when the ductility decreases, it gets to a point where it becomes so brittle that it will fracture, right? And so that's what's happening here. So um, it can actually fracture from brittle, um, kind of brittle fail failure. So we've answered the first part, which is where does the uh, energy goes? It goes to heat. So, you know, basically deform it over and over again and see if you can feel that heat. Uh, and the second part is asking us if we put it in, it, it put the paper clip and here I'm going to say before I broke it. So before I broke it, if I put the paper clip in the furnace and then I tried the experiment again, what would happen? And so this is the, what we kind of think of as, uh, I showed you the idea of cold work versus hot work. If, if we heat up the material, what we're going to find, um, is that it removes those effects of cold work and it actually uh, returns it to its initial conditions. And so it becomes softer, it loses that hardness or strength, and it becomes more ductile again. And so by putting the uh, paperclip in the furnace before we break it, um, we can remove the effects of cold work. And that's what we're going to talk about in this next section. We're going to talk about the opposite effect of cold work. How do we get rid of cold work's effects? And that's what we're going to talk about in the next section when we talk about annealing.